All right, people, welcome back to Politically Homeless. Uh, got one of my favorite people on the show today with me. Uh, please welcome back James Roguski. James, how are you? Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, even though we haven't hit that yet. Um, you have the floor, sir. I am on fire and I'm focused like a laser beam and I'm going to do everything I can to get everybody else focused on good news. But that good news doesn't mean you sit on your butt and do nothing. Good news means that you work harder. Um, Dave, you know, I don't, I'm not a big you know, fan of sports on TV and all that sort of stuff. But have you ever watched a football game where um, someone caught a pass and they're running for a touchdown and like a yard before the finish line, they're all con super confident and they drop the football and they don't actually get credit for the score. Yeah, it happens to, I think, the Detroit Lions every year. But yeah. <laughs> okay. That is a decent analogy for where we are. We are actually winning this battle with the WHO and the proposed amendments to the international health regulations. Today is December 27th, and their deadline to propose amendments to the international health regulations is one month from today, January 27th, 2024. That's a Saturday. And their deadline is actually before that because they've got to do it before that, which is four months in advance of the beginning of the 77th assembly on May 27th, 2024. They said back in October, and I reported on this, we've talked about this a couple of times, I believe, Mm -hmm. they know that they are not going to meet their deadline. They know that they're not reaching agreement amongst the various member nations. They have stated, and even their um, International Health Regulations Review Committee in their final report on February 6, 2023, almost a year ago, they said mid-January is when they have to submit the final version of amendments to the international health regulations. In many ways, it doesn't matter what they're negotiating in secret. It doesn't matter what the details of those proposed amendments are because they're failing to agree to something that they are obligated to submit four months in advance. Now, if we don't get to see the final version by January 27th, 2024, they're going to have to wait until 2025. Now, it's not a final victory. Mm. It's a victory in the battle. I'm trying to get everybody focused on what should be a victory for the people saying that, look, there are rules. You have to follow the rules. That's what rules are. Article 55 of the International Health Regulation says very clearly and I have them on video. I've reported on this for months. I have them on video saying that they understand what the rule means. The rule is there so that all of the nations have four months to consider whatever the changes may be in advance of the meeting when they are going to consider adopting them. So, hey, everybody out there, don't drop the ball just before scoring the winning touchdown. Now is not the time to go, oh, you know, we win, game's over. It's not over. We've got until at the very least January 27th to let everyone in the world watch the working group for amendments to the international health regulations fail to achieve the job or for finish the job that they were tasked to do. They were told to put forth a package, a final package of targeted amendments, not to open up the entire international health regulations and you know rewrite the whole damn thing. They were told to submit targeted amendments in compliance with Article 55. And Article 55 says very clearly, you have to submit it four months in advance of the assembly. We have one month from now until January 27th, 2024, to wake everyone up, to point at their failure. If they don't submit a final package of amendments by January 27th, 2024, they're just going to have to wait and try again in 2025. Yeah. So wake up, spread the word. What, what do you need to do? 
you need to raise everyone's awareness of the WHOs and very specifically the working group for amendments to the international health regulations, the WGIHR's failure to do what they were tasked to do. Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas. Happy yeah. New Year. That's it. That's it. Raise awareness it, of the fact that they have said on October 2nd that they're not going to meet their deadline. They're going to try to cheat. They're going to try to keep meeting and they're going to try to negotiate right up to the last minute and pull a Nancy Pelosi and say, oh, you get to read it after we adopt it. No, <laughs> the rule says if you don't submit it before January 27th, 2024, you're going to have to wait till next year. Sorry. Yeah. So if I'm an activist, James, is is there anything, if I haven't done anything so far, if I want to repeat what I have been doing, um, what do we do? Spread this video far and wide so people understand what the deadline is. Give me a phone call, 310-619-3055. Go to jamesruguski.substack.com, read the article with all of the details, and realize that they have already admitted that they're not going to meet their deadline. They're going to try to cheat. And we have to say, look, you know, hey, hey, ref, you know, they fumbled at the goal line. They're not achieving their goal. Let's have a replay on this. Let's see what actually happened. They do not get to continue negotiating and try to submit something this year if they miss the January 27th, 2024 deadline. Just people just need to know. Pay attention. Share this with everyone in the alternative media. If there's a, a media group out there that is not reporting on this, well, shame on them. And Dave, thank you so much for you know all that you've done over the last two years for me and, and spreading the word. Um, appreciate it. And you know all everybody needs to do is raise awareness of the rules. We're supposed to be governed by the rule of law, and we cannot allow them to cheat and continue these negotiations. They can continue, but they can't submit it this year. They're going to have to wait until next year. All right. James Orguski, thank you uh, for being on, and uh, Happy New Year, buddy. Thank you very much, Dave.